Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture of Quality and Reliability Engineering. I am Milan Trivedi, Assistant Professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. So from last few lectures, we are discussing about chapter number 2 that is Total Quality Management. Up till now we had discussed why this quality is important, how it matters and which are the different ways to improvise the quality. For that, we are having a different tools and different techniques in order to improvise the quality. Some of the very famous quality improvement tools such as quality circles, 5S, total quality control, total employee involvement, quality function deployment matrix, then failure mode effect analysis, Kaizen system. These are the things which we had discussed in our earlier lecture. In today's class, I am going to continue with other two processes in order to improvise the quality. The next process and very famous that is a FDA. FTA stands for Fault Tree Analysis in which we actually go for the analysis in how does that particular things happens or how does the failure happens. It is a tree of analysis starting from a product down to the individual component or function. A failure mode for the system is imagined and the root cause is analyzed up to the individual component. Right? We form a this kind of tree. The appearance of this particular diagram is like a tree. Before this, we are also understand about one Ishikawa diagram, right? In which we dis uh, diagrammatical representation of cause and effect. In such a way, here also we are just having a diagrammatical representation, so we can have a better idea that how does that particular event happen, right? So in this fault tree analysis, what we are going to do is first of all we write about any event, right? Then we represent that event that what are the different different chances of failure or what are the different possibilities of the next thing. Right? For that we can use this kind of symbolical representation also. Here this symbol represent or event and this green color indication is for the end event. Right? This thing is happening along with that this thing is also happening then we can use end. Or in the case of or means either this or this thing will can happen. For that we can have uh, this kind of representation indicated in a violet color, right? But in order to understand this thing in a better way, let me take a case study, right? Because these are the some of the things which we can directly correlate with our life and can get to the conclusion. I am taking the case study of missing the bus because this incident might have happened with us at any point of time. Or if you are regularly current, the scenario is different. But if you are regularly a visitor of some place, maybe going to college, in the earlier days we used to visit a school regularly. During that regularity phase also we come across such situation. So let us take one situation that you miss the bus, right? So that is the event which we are representing first, right? Then we about which we need to indicate that what are the different chances for that or which are the different reasons for due to which we fail or miss the bus. Then the first is in, been indicated as wake up late, maybe a due to late breakfast or did not reach the bus stop on time, right? But these are the different or possibilities. That's why it has been indicated with this arrow, right? Now coming to again sub branches of the stream, right? If you wake up late, then again this or and this both can be the possibility. Maybe I slept late and alarm did not ring right then coming more depth into that part this alarm does not ring that may be due to the faulty alarm and for that you need to go for the repair of clock right so just imagine the scenario being uh, getting late for the bus is been related to the repairing the clock right so in such way you can come to the conclusion that where does the problem is right and this is how you can improvise the quality. If it does not reach to the bus station on time, that may be due to such reasons also. You are walking very slow or interruption on the way, right? So these are the different or possibilities written. Again, if you are walking slow, then that may be due to your laziness or had a limp, right? If it is having a limp, then your leg wound must be corrected, right? So. The ultimately idea of describing this thing is if you are having any problem with the quality write down that thing first 
then we need to go into the depth part we need to have a diagrammatical representation in a such a way that it appears like uh, like a tree right so at the end or last branch of the tree you will get some conclusion that because of this the first event is happening right now let us discuss the next quality improvement tool that is called as a poka yoke again a japanese word up till now we had discussed lot of japanese techniques in order to improvise the quality we discussed about fires kaizen system again next japanese system we are having is poka yoke right poka means mystic yoke means proofing poka yoke is a japanese word that literally means to avoid unintentional errors and it is very effective method to achieve the zero defect right but this poka yoke is uh, focusing on that error which naturally happens right we are not having any such intention that we need to go for this uh, particular damage right but it happens in very naturally right such kind of errors may be avoided by implementing the very very small steps that we are going to discuss in the poka yoke right so the concept of poka yoke is focusing on the full proofing system and once you are having a full proof system you can have a enormous benefits such as you can have a reduced training time you can have, have a reduced waste from any of the industry you can improve in the safety even you can have a higher productivity you can have a promoting culture of the continuous improvement right even see some of the principles under poka yoke is in line with the continuous improvement means that is a kaizen right so some theories may correlate with each other but the end effect of all the process is same that to improve the quality so what we can do in order to avoid a uh, unintentional error right so just to understand that thing in a better way let me directly switch over to some of the case studies right so that you can get a easy idea right now this are again the same incidents which we all face at any point of time in our life right we are writing some mail and in that mail word body itself we are writing that as uh, refer the attachment or as attach we use this word but some of the time we forgot to attach that particular file right that was the common incidents were happening with us so what manufacturer can do is nowadays you are having this kind of warning right that uh, you may have forgotten to attach a file you will get that kind of reminder so that is nothing but it is due to the practice of poka yoke right so you won't do the unintentional error your intention was not uh, such that you, uh, you don't want to attach the file but unintentionally you had made that mistake and you can prevent this thing by implementing a very very small thing right again one let us take one another case study which we all face right uh, salt and sugar water if it has been kept in a glass bottle the appearance will be same but if you are not writing anything on the bottle obviously you will make mistake there are lot of chances to make mistake so what you can do is simply write down what is there inside the bottle right even and the restaurant also i think so one very uh, common mistake we unintentionally make is where to find out the pepper and where to find out the salt right we always get confused between that two things right many of the times it happens right so that is something but it is a poka yoke some other example if i want to take is that uh, suppose in a parking you you are parking a car right this two cars are been parked right but uh, whenever you are taking a reverse you won't get the better judgment that how much far nowadays obviously the proximity sensors are been coming alarms are been also raising whenever we are taking a reverse but still if you are not getting a proper judgment you can have small pillar in your parking zone right so this will be indicating to the car that yes stop has been arrived wheel will touch to this particular pillar no damage has been done and it will stop at a very perfect location right one another but very very interesting case is of traffic signal right see we all know about the meaning of all these three lights red yellow green right but what will happen if one of the light if we are keeping a bulb inside that right if red light has been uh, red light bulb has been stopped the then entire uh, 
road traffic would be would be happening right even green light is been stopped again um, biggest uh, issue especially in a very traffic zone in order to avoid that scenario that entire bulb is been stopped we can do this practice and this this has been followed at each and every uh, traffic signal points nowadays that you need to go for a led bulb right so that if one of the bulb even fail at least in half of the section you will uh, have a appearance of the light right so that problem of traffic won't happen so these are the some of the things which you can implement when you are going for the poka yoke right so small improvement but it is having a large impact okay but all these errors if you had uh, understood this thing very carefully this all were the unintentional errors right avoid that thing and improvise the quality right we are keeping up to this for the today's lecture thank you